we can look at this brainstem model. Um, one of the nice things about this model is that we can see 11 out of the 12 cranial nerves. So we won't see olfactory on here, which is number one, but we do see nerves two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So optic, oculomotor, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens, facial, vestibulocochlear, glossopharyngeal, vagus, accessory, or spinal accessory, and then hypoglossal. Um, the other things that we can see on this, we can see a little bit of corpus callosum. Uh, we see thalamus. Here is the infundibulum. Right? That's an uh, infundibulum. And below that, mammillary bodies pressed up pretty close to oculomotor nerve there. On either side of the mammillary bodies, we see cerebral peduncles, these columns here. And then below that is the pons. Coming off the pons, we can see the middle cerebellar peduncles, tapering back here. Um, inferior to the pons, we see pyramids, there. So here's one pyramid, here's the other pyramid, and the decusation of the pyramids is happening right there, where axons are crossing from left to right and right to left. Um, lateral to the hypoglossal nerve is going to be the olives. Um, as we flip this over and look at the posterior view, this side has most of the structures that are going to be more superficial, and this has some of those cut away. So we can see half of the pineal gland and half of the corpora quadrigemina. So there, there should be another superior colliculus here, just like there's one there, and then another inferior colliculus here, like there is right there.